You know what? Let's try and reload this. See if we can... Oh, that's more like it! Oh my god! How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. This week, we're starting off with uh, something I've never seen before. This is a random story generator in Besiege. So it kind of works a lot like Mad Libs, uh, basically a random story happens. Why we're in a little castle at a, at a desk, I don't know, but I really like the t attention to detail here. We got a little mouse coming out of the wall here going for the cheese. A lot of different things on the table, poker cards and whatnot. Looks like, yes, that is, that is indeed an ashtray. Oh, and you can't forget your vape. Why, why did someone design a vape for Besiege? I don't know, but that is amazing. So, let's try out some of these stories here. So, we press B to get a random story. And Barack Obama with a burra. Don't know what a burra is. On Facebook, at Valentine's Day, they are drink vodka because they want to get Excalibur. Well, clearly they were already drunk reading that sentence, so uh, let's see if we can get a better one here. Carl Johnson with a bad meme in Disneyland in Dark Ages. Disneyland was in Dark Ages? They are hug thyself because they want a new table. What? Jesus, with Adolf Hitler in school. Sometimes they are eating plastic because they are poor. Top porn star with Bob the Builder in nursing home in second chapter. They are trying to repair the fridge because they want a Tesla Roadster. That's got to be the weirdest porno ever, I think, guys. Well, this feels weird. Dregas with Dre's grandma on a pirate ship. When they drink, they are catching Pokemons because they love it. Gotta say, me and my grandma do sure love those good Pokemons. So I think that's enough random stories for today. There definitely are some good ones and some very weird ones that mixed in as well. I do like that it actually needs to load, so it is totally random. You can tell just by the words loading in. Uh, definitely needs some grammar fixes, but aside from that, it's just awesome to see stuff like this in Besiege. And moving on, next up, we have a very small plane here. I love this uh, kind of balancing act that's got going on here. Uh, but yeah, this thing is called a plane even Dragast could fly. Yep, my bad flight skills are becoming a meme, and that's a pretty tough claim. I have a pretty good track record of crashing planes, so I'm gonna test it. We're gonna see if this claim is correct. It should be very easy to fly, and more importantly, very easy to land, which is, I think, where this thing is going to fail, because if I pull this wing down... Oh, I don't have, uh, drag objects on. But if I pull this wing ever so slightly, you can see it is indeed not doing anything magical. It's just perfectly balanced and uh, stabilizing itself. So how the hell are you going to land this? I have no idea. Let's take it off, though, and see if this claim is right. So we have to attach the wings together. All right, turn that engine back on. And okay, claim. What the hell? What? What? Well, either there are ghosts trying to kill me or were we by the wall? Are we behind the wall sometimes? Yes, we were behind the wall. Okay, so that was my mistake. Not the plane's fault there. So let's actually take this thing off inside the map this time and see how good it is. So it does uh, constantly drop, which is something that is kind of hard to deal with. But as you can see, uh, maneuverability is actually very, very easy. I'm not surprised this thing is made to be easy. Let's see if we can go underneath. Yes, there we go. Look at it! I think the claim is gonna be correct! The hard part's gonna be, like I said, landing this thing, though. Let's try and take out a tower, see how precise this thing is, and aiming up, and perfect hit right into the tower. Alright, but the great test, though, is seeing if we can land this thing. So let's get it up to speed here. Let's do a little bit of a roll here. Why not? Because this thing... Ah, this is a great plane. I, I can't lie. This is a simple but great plane. Even if it is taking a stab at me in the title of it. So, uh, yeah, let's try and land this thing now. We're going probably full speed. I have slowed it down a little bit. There we go. Nice and stable. Okay. You know what? I, I can't say anything. That was as good of a landing as you're gonna get with balancing wheels. That was amazing. So for the first time ever, a claim on the internet was actually correct. This is definitely a plane Dragas can fly. 
And moving on to something Dragas probably can't fly, this is the FS-03 Super Pack. Now, the frustrating thing is, there's actually no controls in the description of this creation, so I'm literally saying that I probably can't fly it. We gotta figure out how to fly it first. A lot of planes are very similar, so yeah, usually they're pinned. There we go, we got that going for us. Oh my god, we got two engines down there. Okay, now what are the flaps? There we go, we got the flaps. Got that down. Now we just need the engines. Where's the engine? Oh, that, oh, did that just shoot backwards? I think I, I just shot backwards. Oh, there's the engines. At least I hope so. Okay, this is really laggy. This is a very... Oh, God. Oh, God. Pull up. Pull up. Okay, it's too late to pull up. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect that. Okay, let's try that again. This time, let's not break the front. Let's... Oh, oh, God. Wheels just fell off, guys. Wheels... Things are falling off. Okay. Uh... This thing is freaking beautiful. I wish I knew how to fly it. I mean, at least we're in the air this time. I don't know how to put my uh, landing doors away, though. So I really wish there was more information on this because this is one of the coolest looking crafts I have ever seen. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh man. That hurt. That really hurt. And uh, that was freaking beautiful. I told you guys I couldn't fly it. Alright guys, so I just wanted to quickly show you this one because it's one of the coolest planes that I have ever seen. I don't know much about it. Oh, that's why the wheels fell off. They actually burn. That That is definitely a safety hazard right there. But yeah, I don't know too much about this plane, so if you guys know more, let me know in the comments below. It does have four guns on the front. I'm sure you could notice those guns. They're pretty big, you know? <laughs> the big white things. All right, and people keep asking me to play Subnautica, so we're playing it in Besiege, damn it. We're checking out the very awesome Subnautica Siva. I mean, look at this thing. The detail is definitely here, and uh, this is fantastic. Now, not only that, uh, with Subnautica, you need the Reaper Leviathan, and there he is being majestic as- Oh, he just got reset. <laughs> so, uh, let me just say these things are not easy to control, but I gotta go try and kill the Reaper Leviathan. So let's get the first person here and see what we can do. I'm gonna try and go over there. This is gonna take a while. Let's see. Oh, I missed him. Oh, oh God, he's eating me. Okay, this is why I don't play Subnautica. Okay, I got him in my sights. There, I- oh, come on, I bounced it off of him! Alright, let's see, there we go, we shot the cannon and we took his head off. For the record, this is the hardest thing ever to control, but we killed it! We killed the Blue Reaper Leviathan! There we go, Subnautica's over, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my Let's Play of it, it was, it was great. Alright, but in all seriousness, this is one of the coolest looking crafts that I've seen in a long time in Besiege, and just the attention to detail here. The small things on this, like the steering wheel turning when you do try and turn it, the engine turning on when you do give it power, things like that add a lot to creations, and it does look amazing. Has a really cool weapon system too, we got the torpedoes and the cannons on the front there, and you can just close them up when you are not using them, and that is pretty much it for this creation. Now I do want to thank Savage Gaming for being the very helpful Reaper Leviathan that we killed. May he ever rest in peace in this episode of Besiege, but go check out his channel, Savage Gaming, link will be in the description. And moving on, check out this thing guys, we got a very big shotgun, a real shotgun too, so uh, yes, this is the Besiege sponsored shotgun as you can see, uh, Besiege logo is everywhere on this thing, and uh, yeah, this is just a map to uh, basically shoot things, you know, the, the, the greatest thing in Besiege, so I thought we'd start off with a human here, it actually shows, is that the path of the bullet? Well, it's a shotgun, so it should shoot... Uh, hopefully a scatter shot here. Let's try it out. I'm gonna slow it down. Ho oh, ho ho! Okay, wow. You actually got pretty lucky considering the amount of, uh, things that came out of that. They're bouncing off the wall, coming back. Watch out, buddy. Alright, I thought it'd be fun to shoot a hovercraft because I envisioned it just kind of floating away. So let's see. Yeah, it is slightly... Okay, that's a lot more boring than I thought. It just slightly moves back. You know what? Let's try and reload this. See if we can... Oh, that's more like it! Oh my god! Okay, well, it's a good thing I tried a second shot there. Worked way better than the first shot. Where the hell did it go? Well, I'm assuming it's over there, considering my name is over there. I, I'm too curious. I, I, I must go see the destruction. Yep, that's not good. What do we have left of this thing? Actually, it's rather well intact, but uh, it did go very, very far away. I'm actually curious at how well this tank will bounce the shot, so I thought we'd try this as well, and... 
Okay, that did that. It, it, you know what? To be fair, it's a, it's a very old tank. It can't deal with giant shotguns, but uh, yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. I'm reloading the shotgun and I'm shooting the side cannon as well. Isn't that cute? There it comes though and destroy it. Oh, that's great. We have never really had like a realistic uh, shotgun in Besiege. So let's see how many shots come out of this because that's what I'm most curious about. Obviously, it is a lot and it's just really cool to see. Oh yeah, it's just a bunch of cannonballs of different sizes too. You can see some big shots, some little shots. And uh, yeah, that makes for a lot of fun. And last episode, I showed you guys this AI. People were really curious to see if it could follow a plane, though. And that made me think about it as well. So we're going to try and see if the AI can take a plane out of the sky. More specifically, a very fast jet. So we'll see how good it is at truly following a very fast craft. My god, this thing's too fast. Uh, but yes, the AI should be coming out now. There it is. And it should be following us. I don't think it's going to be fast enough to deal with this, though. Hey, bud. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's horrifying. It has very fast movement, so it's always scary to uh, try and be beside it. It's definitely following us, though. It's at least tracking us, but I don't think it's going to have time to actually use its weapon because we're just too fast. Oh, oh, it tried. It tried, but it missed me. Oh, this is just amazing. So if you didn't watch last week's episode, this AI tries to destroy you. It follows you and does its best to actually destroy you. I'm going to slow down a little bit here, see if it has a chance. Uh, it's trying to find me. You can see it's doing a very good job. It's just, oh man, that was close. I think it's met its match though. Having a jet to deal with is not easy, but I am intentionally going a little bit slower now just to see if we can get it to do it. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh yeah, you're a little too slow, bud. Can't get me. Neener, neener, neener. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I tried to go straight up, and uh, that's what happens when you go straight up. Is it following me still? Uh, I don't see it anywhere. I think I broke it. Oh! Oh, God! My my heart! Oh, I got... I, I, Jeez, stop it! Okay, I, I, I guess it clearly found us, guys. All right, let's... I, I, I can't leave. It's, it's spawn camping me! Stop spawn camping me, you jerk! Woo! All right, guys, and on that bombshell, we're going to wrap up another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. I hope you guys enjoyed this jam-packed episode, checking out pretty much everything. We, uh, we, well, we always pretty much check out everything. We just check out awesome things. That's what Besiege is all about. So yeah, as always, guys, if you want to check out any of these creations, links will be in the description where you can download them for yourself and enjoy them yourself. Thanks for all the amazing creators. Thanks for Savage Gaming for helping me out in this episode. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.